Hey fam, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new, welcome. I am Wingil Zalalem and today we are talking about Tanzanian students that were welcomed by Russia. It, I know, I know, sounds odd, right? So because of the current situation, as you all know, Russia and Ukraine, there's conflict. Um, a lot of people are fleeing Ukraine, including Africans, and most of them are students, unfortunately, and they, were, they are going through it. They really are going through it, but some of them were lucky enough to make it home. Some are still there suffering, still there scared for their lives, and it's really sad. So some of them, uh, were able to make it out of Ukraine to Russia and Russia welcomed them and these students are Tanzanian students and they gave them food, they gave them uh, clothes to change and they gave them rooms to sleep in and I found it interesting especially with the way they were discriminated against in Ukraine. They were not even allowing them to get in the bus or the train that is leaving Ukraine. Let me show you this clip from Africa News and I want us to talk about this more. A group of Tanzanian students fleeing the conflict in Ukraine have arrived in Russia. The students were studying at Sumy State University in northeastern Ukraine when the fighting broke out. The city lies about 48 kilometers from the border with Russia. The journey was tough because it involved, it involved both uh, going by car and on foot. Yes. So we, we started our journey uh, by car from a hostel in Sumi to somewhere where we dropped you off, then we started walking, then he, in the middle of the journey we, we, we took another car to somewhere we, uh, the last car that we traveled with and he, we started again walking up to border to the border. The group of 11 students were given shelter at the Kursk State Medical University in Russia while they await for help from the Tanzanian embassy. Eleven students of Sumi University arrived at night, students from Tanzania. We welcomed them and took to the hostel number four of our university, the Kursk Medical University. They washed, changed clothes, we gave them food, provided a place to sleep and a thorough medical examination. As you saw, they've received them and they are actually taking care of them until uh, the government sends uh, a plane or finds a way to take them back home. And those students are not the only ones. Russia actually made a statement um, just a few days ago announcing that they want to welcome Nigerian students that were affected in Ukraine to come and join their schools. They are registering them in their school. They want to offer them um, a spot in their universities and really at this point Russia is like really doing the most and the Western world is not happy about this because they are slowly getting popularity um, in African minds and African hearts because of what they are doing you know when Ukrainians were mistreating Africans Russia is actually receiving them and what do they expect people to do to tell them, no, I'd rather die in Ukraine instead of accepting help from Russia when people in Ukraine are discriminating against them and telling them, you are not living with us in the same train. Like, they were not even seen as human beings. We, we all saw the videos, devastating videos. I've talked about this on my channel before. So it's incredible how they expect Africans to just be blind to what is going on right now. Anyways fam, I want to know from you what your thoughts are. Why is Russia being nice to Tanzanian students and Nigerian students and um, this is not their first time. My last video I talked about how Russia was helping Mali, Central African Republic and Ethiopia. So let me know down below. I want us to discuss a bit more about this topic. I'll see you on the next one. Stay blessed. Bye.